everyone, it's Reverend Gale here. And I'd like to tell you a story today for Christmas. On Christmas Eve, in a village far, far away and long, long ago, children would eagerly await the visit of Father Christmas. But they wouldn't lie in their beds waiting. They'd watch at their windows. Father Christmas didn't fly through the air on a sleigh. Instead, he walked. And he didn't carry a great big sack of parcels on his back. Instead, he carried an old battered violin case. And as soon as they saw Father Christmas, the children would all leave their houses and follow him to the village green under the big old oak tree. And there, beneath the tree, Father Christmas would take out his violin and he'd start to play a beautiful haunting tune. As soon as he played, something miraculous happened. Slowly, buds would form on the branches of the tree and then the buds would open and close the tree in a rich green cloak of leaves. And then most wonderfully of all, the acorns would appear and they'd fall to the ground and be transformed into Christmas presents, one for every child in the village. When each child had received their gift, all the children would hurry home to open them up and they'd find exactly what they wanted. For well, one Christmas, something happened that had never happened before. Father Christmas stopped playing and looked around at all the children. They were all clutching their presents. Then he frowned and looked slightly bewildered. He peered up at the tree for a while and then, rather reluctantly, picked up his violin and started to play again. After a short time, he stopped. But he wasn't smiling anymore and his eyes didn't twinkle anymore. Instead, he looked sad and rather old. Someone has taken two presents, he said. One gift was for a child who couldn't be here tonight, and now I had nothing for him. As Father Christmas looked into the eyes of each child, he felt rather uneasy and a little ashamed that one of their members should do such a thing. Then a little boy stepped forward, holding out his gift. Take mine to the child, he said. I'd be happy for him to have it. How kind, said Father Christmas. Because of your generosity, you can come with me and give it to the child yourself. So while all the other children rushed home to open their presents, the little boy went with Father Christmas to the edge of the village, where there was a path that led deep into the forest. The night was calm and still, and the sky was lit by a big full moon, and the stars seemed to shine brighter than ever. After walking for what seemed an age, but only a few minutes, for what seemed miles, but actually a short distance, they reached a wooden shack. The boy could make out shapes of some strange animals tethered outside, and he heard the sound of a baby crying inside. Father Christmas motioned for the boy to push the door. Slowly and rather cautiously he made his way in, and he saw a mother with a newborn child. Shepherds were kneeling before them, and finely dressed kings were waiting with gifts of their own to give. He couldn't explain it, but he felt compelled to kneel himself as he offered his gift to the baby. Well, I've got something down here. I've got I wonder if this might be one of the presents from under the oak tree. 
can open it and have a look inside. Something in a box. Can do the ribbon. Wonder what it can be. Wonder if you've got any ideas. rather empty and short-lived celebrations if we don't remember the real meaning of Christmas and why we celebrate. We celebrate that God sent his son Jesus to show us how to live and then to die on the cross and rise again to new life. So we could be forgiven all the wrong things we do. Jesus was God's gift to the world, to you and to me. So when we get given gifts, we need to say thank you. But also remember that there are many people who are not able to enjoy the sort of Christmas we often take for granted. I want you to have a little think now about what you expect Christmas to be like for you this year. It might be a bit different from other Christmases. Let's have a think. Now have a little think about what you will do to make Christmas special for someone else. And then I'm going to say a prayer. you'd like to make this prayer your prayer too, then join in with the Amen at the end. Father God, as we look forward to the excitement and celebrations of Christmas, help us not to lose sight of its true meaning. As we open our gifts, given with love, we remember how you gave the world the gift of Jesus Christ to show us how much you love each one of us. Amen. So now we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. Have a very happy Christmas.